glad we visited Professor Wilson. I think you'll be much happier with a mother and father. And Professor Wilson is the best there is. He did a very good job on the faces. I'm glad too, but it feels strange carrying my parents in my lap. Look, we're offshore near Mount Blackstone. Huh? Doctor, something's wrong. Uh, whoa! Whoa! Tectoron. I found it right after I came to. We'll analyze it back at the lab. And by the way, Astro, you did an excellent job saving the plane and all the passengers. Mm. Doctor! <gasps> Doctor Elephant! <gasps> you were really lucky. <gasps> we rushed here as soon as we heard the bad news. What do you think could have been the cause of it? A magnetic windstorm. Windstorm? Hmm. But not just an ordinary storm. A very violent one coming right at the plane. It was very strange. Hmm. Darn it! I really can't believe we just missed picking up that treasure by a few inches. Move it! Aye, aye. strange to meet my new mom and dad. <laughs> now all we have to do is check out their hearts. I thought you'd like to meet them as soon as possible. Well, here they are. Look, what do you think? <gasps> Go ahead, take a closer look. Mother's very beautiful, and your father's very strong. I've tried to fill in until they were ready, but now you'll have two parents of your very own. Hope you'll be happy. Thanks, Dr. Elephant. Uh, uh, what's wrong? Nothing. It's really nothing. <laughs> I guess it's all over for us. Darn those cops, anyway. Huh? What? What's that? Whoever you are, stop or we'll fire! Hurry, 
Come on! You can't become a big-time gangster if you act like that. Uh, I can't believe you're really Atlas. Of course you have a hard time recognizing me. I've been completely remodeled. Yes, you have. Boss, what's he gonna do to us? Maybe I could treat you like I did them. Huh? Oh, no, uh, I believe you, all right. <laughs> Wait, where are you going? Do you have any place to go? No. Why? Hmm. Why not come with us? I'll take care of you. Huh. Hurry. <laughs> this is better than I expected. Now we know it is Neotecteron. Really? It's said to be a rock that came from outer space. Anyway, it can't be made artificially. But what I can't figure out is why it would be found on the continental shelf. Let's see you break that, just as a test. What's this? Are you making fun of me? <laughs> it's just a trial run, you know. I refuse. But Atlas, wait a minute, wait a minute! I'm sorry, I'll find you a bigger challenge if you stick with us. The thieves have broken into both the bank and the jewelry store, smashing windows and safes. The police as yet have no clues as to who's responsible. Now for a comment on the latest developments. Inspector Gumshoe? The culprit has such unnatural powers. Unnatural powers? To be able to do this without having to use explosives? No, it simply could not have been done by a human. <clears throat> I promise I shall get the culprit with my own hands. Well, if it's not a human, it must be a robot. What? A robot? Robots don't just go out and commit crimes, you know. But, Doctor... Now, don't worry. We'll find out. Professor Elephant! The Transport Ministry's rare metal plant has just been attacked by a robot! <gasps> by a robot? A robot that has never been seen before. Chief McClaw went rushing over there. It can be completely unknown. Come on, let's go. Wait for me. Darn, it's the same work. It must have been done by a robot. Now tell me, did you really see a robot attacking? I was so scared, but it was a robot. Yeah, real big. It was a robot, all right. Right. I can't believe that a robot would do such a thing. But I'm not lying. I really did see him. I did. Hmm. <laughs> I'm rich. I'm rich. <laughs> 
look, this should last us for a while. <laughs> you know, boss, I don't think we should be trusting that guy so much. Atlas? Well, he's a lot better than he used to be. I got him under my control now. Huh? Where did he go? <laughs> Darn it. Atlas, what are you doing? I'm fed up with your kind of work. I'm leaving. What? You can't. Huh. Let's go. Wait. Darn it. I won't let you go. He can't get away. What a pest he is. Look out! <laughs> huh? There it is again. As if someone's calling me. Something has happened to your parents. Oh, something happened to them? Oh. Mom, Dad. I'm sorry, Astro. It was so sudden. They're all gone. I hope Astro's mom and dad are safe. Mom, Dad. All right, you must tell me who did this. A giant robot, I'm sorry to say. I saw it. He must be the same one that robbed the bank. I can't believe that such a robot exists. Robots don't steal. There's only one way. The Omega Factor. Omega Factor? A scientist by the name of Valpulgis made it. This factor makes a robot capable of horrible deeds and crimes. We've been forbidden to use them in our robots. The only explanation is that the robot that stole your parents is equipped with the Omega Factor. Doctor, I get this strange feeling in my chest, and right after it, something bad always happens. What? I can't explain it very well, but it's like I'm being summoned by somebody, and I don't know why. But maybe it's just a coincidence. No, there's something going on. Someone's calling me, and I'm going to find out who. Wait, Astro. If you are going, put in the cyclometer. Cyclometer? Automatic tracking unit. Astro, open your chest. There, that should do it. Go, Astro. But be careful. Right. Storm! And underwater! 
It's me, Astro. Huh? You must be... That's right. I am Atlas. Atlas? But... but I thought you... I died once, but I have been rebuilt to take revenge on humans. Humans that hurt me. But you're a robot, and robots don't think like that. <laughs> Astro, why don't you and I join forces? What have you done with my mother and father? Your parents? Oh, you mean those units over there? Oh, Mom, Dad, why have you done such a cruel thing? I plan to take control of the whole world. There's a lot to be done first, and I need you to help me. Astro, help me with my work. Together, we'll take over the world. No! I just want to take my parents back with me. <laughs> what do you mean, parents? You're a robot. You have no parents. Astro, wake up. The humans are playing a trick on you. I am making something special here, something humans can't even dream of. Airplanes have fallen because of my magnetic power, but don't think it is a small weapon. With it, I can take over the whole world. No, what you are doing is wrong. I won't join you. Oh, well, I had hoped we could work together. You shall die, Astro. Lightning Saber will drain you of all energy. Take this! Atlas, stop it! You leave me no choice! Astro, stop it! of some kind. It's Astro. What? Let me see. Oh, hey, you're joking me. Hey, it's him. He's safe. And he's got his parents with him. to the magnetic storm. That robot called Atlas, yes. You'll be seeing him again. Yes, Dr. Elephant. What's this? This is your new home, Astro. My home? Yes, go on in.
is a fantasy park. It's a place every kid dreams of visiting. One day, a robot swan flew away from the park and came right to my house. The Devil King came after the swan, who turned out to be a beautiful girl in disguise. Robot Land is beautiful, but when I went to rescue the girl, I found out it was also full of danger. Tune in next time for Robot Land.